Welcome Capricorns. This is January 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares and support Capricorns, Capricorns. The month of January bring you some sort of a sadness, okay? And uh, whatever is happening in Transpire, Archangel Uriel is going to have friends that is going to be helping you to resolve some sort of a situation. Friends is going to be here for you. All right. So Capricorn, there is some sort of a deceptiveness uh, um, that was created um, in 2020. They're going to be finding out uh, some sort of a really dishonest play that has transpired in 2020. And they're going to be realizing some horrible dishonesty. Is it that you Capricorn have been dishonest? What is happening? What is transpiring? Truths are going to be coming out. So let's look at the month of January. We have water. You're waiting. In the first week in January, you have water. You're waiting. Something is going to be happening on the 21st of January. So be aware of this. The 21st of January, something is going to be happening. You have to be aware of this. Um, water. Then we have fire. Finding inner strength and, and regaining balance stable and balanced Capricorn. So whatever is happening, you're finding inner strength and trying to resolve a situation. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the third week. That is going to be a very, very good week for you Capricorns. Whatever is transpiring, the third week and the fourth week is going to be very, very good. So the fourth week, you have the energy of the lovers, something with a contract, some sort of a new offer with a contract is going to be coming in in the fourth week. So ladies and gentlemen, um, let's go in this reading. So they're going to be, uh, you're waiting because some, there was some sort of a deceptive play in December and you're waiting, um, you're waiting, waiting, waiting and uh, whatever this deceptive play is and was, you're waiting because you or bringing a deceptive situation to an end. So you are there waiting, waiting, waiting. On the 21st of January, something in uh, is going to be happening for you on the 21st of January. So be aware of this. So 21st of January is like in the third week where some sort of a resolution. So some sort of a conflicts competition that was going on and some sort of a deceptive play in a corporation institution. They're going to be finding out what has happened, what has transpired, and it's going to be seeing the truth of this situation. Um, you have the energy of finding inner strength to deal with some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem. Um, in the second week and you're bringing balance. So you are going to be standing your ground. You're going to be having the inner strength. Uh, to find out uh, some sort of uh, dishonest play that was happening and transpiring and bringing balance back. In the third week, the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up um, that some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. You are on your way to a new start. Um, you're blindfolded, but yet still you are on this one wheel bicycle moving forward um, in um, a new direction. Um, whatever that was happening, whatever um, dishonesty that was at play, um, some sort of a new start is going to be returning and people are going to be helping you to resolve some sort of an issue and situation that was created. They're going to be finding out and really helping you to balance um, some sort of an injustice uh, that was created. In the last week, you have the energy of the lovers and I see um, someone could be offering you love or I see um, a group of businessmen is going to be offering you some sort of a offer. So be aware of this. The sadness and brace could be issues with relationship or some of you Capricorns have gotten yourself in a, some serious, serious uh, um, issues and problems. And you um, are in a sad embrace. Um, friends, there's no friends. Um, to support you in an issue, in a situation, you realize that you're in a situation all by yourself uh, and you have to figure out a way to get out of the situation. Call upon Archangel Uriel. So let's do this together, Capricorns. Uh, 
Divine Love and Light, Archangel Uriel, and all the angels of protection of the Capricorn. Divine intervention in whatever the Capricorn has been doing. If they were wrong, they were wrong. If they were right, protect them and give them some sort of a support and divine intervention. Whatever is going on with the Capricorn at this moment, Capricorns have to now realize that whatever um, is deceptive will always come out and I'm asking for divine protection. In your stability, I see the conflicts is going to be over. Um, there was some sort of a deceptive play um, that was created. The conflicts is going to be over. And a lot of you are going to be regaining some sort of a stability with your business or um, with your home. Some of you were having issues with your business, your home, or at the workplace. So um, that is going to be resolved because I see you're going to be receiving some sort of an offer the end of January. Because in 2020, there was some serious or a deceptive play that was created. And now people are finding out the truth of what has been happening and what has been transpiring. And I see Archangel Uriel is going to be coming up to help some of you out. So um, there was some conflicts because of some sort of a deceptive play. You stood your grounds against a Leo and some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in and a new contract is going to be coming in for you Capricorns. The truth came out about a corporation institution, whether it's a bank or a financial institution or about your house or some sort of information came out. And I see that the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to bring back some sort of a stability for you. And in the last week, you are going to be receiving some sort of a new offer, some sort of a new contract, some sort of a new agreement. A lot of you could be um, open, who are open for a new love that could be coming in the last week. Um, the um, A lot of you are dealing with some sort of a situation with your business and with your own and some of you at work is really trying to find the strength to deal with some sort of an issue that people had created. I see some information is going to be coming out about a Leo and you are going to be victoriously successfully regaining what this Leo has stuck. This Leo is a criminal and a very deceptive person. Whoever this Leo is, I see they're going to be shedding light on this Leo and realizing that this Leo has been using and taking information and taking money that that was not theirs and they're going to be finding out uh, the destructiveness of a Leo and you are going to be the wheel of fortune is going to be coming in in order to regain and release you and return some sort of a contract that was yours so they are going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a Leo and how a Leo created his business on lies. A Leo man is a very crooked criminal person and how this Leo man had created his business on lies and deceptiveness. And I see the truth is coming out about this Leo and his businessmen friends. So a lot of you are going to be realizing some sort of unscrupulous behaviors of people around you. And a lot of you Capricorn is going to be standing back and thinking, Jesus, how do these people live with themselves? It is unbelievable the disturb um, um, uh, mental disturb of these, these people are mentally disturbed. And you're going to be realizing, oh my God, um, you know, people are not really seeing how disturbed they are. And at the, the, whenever it, come, it comes up to the third week, because the second week you're standing your grounds. And, you know, whatever is coming at you, you're standing your grounds in the second week because you're like, I am not playing a, Jake, a joke. This joke is not going to be played. I have no time for playing. I am really, this year is a year where I'm cutting out um, all who um, are not supposed to be in my life and I'm taking back my powers. And you come into this year, Capricorns, really centered 
in your powers in order to bring back balance and create a lot of positive uh, energy in your world because you realize that uh, people are mentally unstable and people are mentally imbalanced. And a lot of you are going to be realizing, oh my gosh, you know, are people aware of what is transparent? So I see a lot of you are seeing through the illusion of some sort of a complex that was going on and you're standing your ground and you're like, I am not moving until this thing is being resolved and this thing needs to be resolved. So whoever and whatever these people was trying to do and have done in 2021, um, you're going to be bringing back balance. So they could find out that some of you um, Capricorns, young Capricorns has created some sort of a deceptiveness. And I see you're standing your ground. All the people are standing their ground in order to re recover some sort of a um, stolen item, information, documentation. And a young um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have something to do with it because they were either on your computer, either in your telephone, either have a spyware that they were seeing everything that you were doing. And I see they are now in some serious trouble. So a lot of you young Capricorns are the one and business people who were deceptive is in the sadness embrace because uh, they're realizing the lies and deceptiveness that some of you have created. A whole lot of honest people, the third week going into the second week, so some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in for a contract. And um, they're going to be now finding out uh, the disturbance of people that have created some horrible um, issues. A lot of you in the third week, um, you could be receiving a new car. Um, you could be receiving a new apartment. A lot of you um, could be receiving... Um, some sort of awards that is going to be coming up. Some sort of information is going to be coming up in the third week. So check out the 21st of this month. What is happening on the 21st of this month? Because uh, something good. So when we look at your reading, your stability is going to be very, very good. Um, and the stability is going to be good because uh, a lot of you, um, a lot of quarrels, uh, I see violent uh, a third opening of a confirm um opening conf confrontation hate and legal battles. Okay, so um a, a lot of legal battles some of you will be dealing with an open confrontation is going to be coming up in the first week. Okay, in the second week we see construction um searching for some sort of a solitude. Um, some sort of a point of uh, surveying some sort of a new prospection and looking at some sort of a new prospection. The Wheel of Fortune in the third week uh, is uh, bringing you um, some sort of a new agreement. And this is what I was saying, that in the third week, going into the fourth week, some sort of a new agreement uh, is going to be uh, um, created, some strong union, some contract uh, uh, or a settling to a legal issue is going to be happening in the third week. So a lot of you who have legal issue, the third week is when um, some sort of a settling um, is going to be um, transparent, where a contract uh, reaching some sort of a settlement agreement, merging of companies could be coming up or association. So this is good whenever the three of ones in this comes out is about agreement. So that is the week of uh, um, the, the 21st of January. So whatever is transpiring um, the 21st of January, look out for the 21st of January. This could be happening. When we look at the third week and uh, the third week is concentration, in-depth analyzing a situation in the third week going in the fourth week, uh, um, you need to look within, okay? Brief separation. So you could be separating yourself, um, or even at work, you're so focused in your work, um, you're not listening to outside information that is coming in. That is a situation that is transpiring. But this month of January is going to be very, very, very um, good because what is transpiring is that 
um, you are constructing something new, okay? You're surveying the lay of the land and you're going to be bringing back some sort of a balance um, to your life, okay? Um, whatever is transpiring in the last week, some in-depth analyzation, so you could be focusing on your work and you need to look within. You're going to be separating yourself from friends and people, especially in the last week, in order to focus on your work okay so be aware of that but the 21st of january is going to be playing some sort of a significant role um for you um the 12th of january the 3rd of january some sort of a significant uh, um uh, um uh, situation is going to be happening so the 3rd of january and the 12th of january um, the 10th of January and the, um, is going to be also good. And the 6th of January is also going to be good for you guys. So be aware of uh, this. So the 2nd of January is going to be uh, um, some sort of a new offer, some sort of a business deal, some sort of a merger could be coming in for you guys. So that is going to be good. Now, the sad embrace um, that is coming up for a lot of you um, this said embrace, you, you yourself have caused it on yourself, okay? Whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, a lot of you Capricorn have caused this sad embrace. So, and loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal. You may be entering a period of loss. Um, perhaps you have, have, have to let go of a long cherished dreams, okay? If so, take heart for the endings may bring some sort of a positive, eye, um, good energy. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept the, lo the loss. It is hard for people to access the loss, especially when there was um, horrible deceptive play in their lives. And I see that some of you could be um, dealing um, with this sort of a situation. So life is about the unexpected, but I see they're going to be um, finding out some real criminal offense that was created um, and uh, um, some sort of a deceptive play. If you notice deceptiveness comes up, lies and deceptiveness, things that was people have created. Um, it could be people have done it against you or you have done it against another person. However, this is coming up. I see that this is what you have. Call upon Archangel Uriel, the energy of friendship. And, uh, you know, friends are going to be there. Our relationships signify the part of our deepest fibrosity of our lives as they evolve through life. So Uriel wishes you to know that the report that you're going to be receiving from friends, these changes are very natural. And Uriel asks you to surrender all feelings to a notion the companionship of offer of angels, okay? Who H O O U Who 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 Use H O O um in order to bring back balance in your life and to be balanced out with whatever is transpiring and to be open up and find the inner strength to take back uh, because they realize uh, the deceptive play that has transpired and have created a lot of horrible um, problems and situation. And I see truths is going to be coming out. So ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. If you want to see the extended of this reeling, choose to move over to the other side. Please, whenever there is such a disturbing reading, there's always positivity coming out. I gotta say, I gotta go. Namaste until next time.